All right, let's get started. Happy, it's not Monday, it's not Tuesday, it is already Wednesday, but happy Wednesday anyways. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Uh, we are having a little bit of a different time zone thingy going on in regards to the uh, the server, obviously, so we can do pre-downtime stuff like um, holar hunting, which I'm just, well, just started. I saw a holar when I, when I started the stream, so I had to catch it. Uh, well, I triggered it, and now, well, I'll explain in a second. But first, hello to Shogun Sikinos. Uh, greetings, come trues, nasty car car in the house, Bernard Elvira. Hello to CR Charlie Armham, Oxy, Shot to Goal, Oculus, Migalier, Will Jonesy, Manimal Troll Boxer Buddy, Lioneer, Derek Carkey. Hello to Freak Factor, TW Bag, Mad Cat, J55, Riper, Derfin, Sodar, El Felixio, Oxen X, Hilu, Magic Toaster, Astrocles, and Reed. Got all of you. Uh, does that mean triple charges? It does, yeah. Triple charge today. Yeah, you may or may not want to waste them. Plus, something else happened actually, I only realized today. I think it, ha it happened on Saturday. Somebody quit the game again and sent us around uh, 50 billion worth of stuff and, and uh, a disc, yeah. We, we, we will have to collect some stuff later. That's the chore part I was uh, mentioning in the uh, thing. Yeah, so my, my uh, wallet issues are somewhat uh, resolved. Oh, I should probably find that uh, that batcher now, right? Uh, so I just did find a hauler. Um, I shot at it. It warped to the safe spot. So I got to find it again for my uh, buddies, which are... Probably going to go over here, right? Yeah, that's where they warped, more like, or more or less. If anyone wants to quit the game, you volunteer to take the assets off the hands. Hello, <laughs> Zeniko. Yeah, it is trucking time. We'll have to find out how to deal with this. Um, okay, we are in Kaldari space at the moment, going for a batcher there. Yeah, littered station when you want to quit the game, right? That's that's just bad. All right, warping the fleet. I actually brought two Hecates today. You only see one of them. Um, well, now you see both, but you will have the perspective of one of the Hecates. Um, I just want to kill a lot of sight. Uh, not sights. What's the word? The tech two barge thingies. Thanks a lot for the support, Belkeld in twenty seven months. That is very kind. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Skiffs. Yeah, I want to kill the skiffs. That's the plan. Uh, plus, we will obviously have a bit more DPS this way as well. So let's kill that batcher ASAP. 
and thanks for the support. Olaf, greetings. Good morning to you. 55 months of support. So I have around 2,400 DPS on grid with the two Hecates. Let's see what that's going to do. We got a strong box and uh, I guess we, we're just going to gamble. Ooh, Mad Cat with a tier 2. 48 months? Four years. Happy four year. Celebration right there. I hope your your weekend was great. Um, Monday was great. We had nice, uh, good food at my parents' place. And Tuesday was a bit wonky with work and admin stuff. So I didn't stream, but uh, here we are today. It is happening. Uh, Kisa's greetings to you as, as well. So that means, where are we going actually? Is there more? There are retrievers here. And the response group. I'm, I'm just checking the system if there is more stuff to shoot here. Have I played Helldiver? I didn't have time, Shogun. Usually uh, when the little ones are in bed, I, I dare not doing voice comms. Otherwise, they wake up again. So there's that. But that being said, uh, from April 10, um, my mother-in-law will be here for a while. So maybe I'll have a bit more time to do extra streaming activities or playing video games or whatnot. Uh, all right, let's go. We got to go to Erlen here. with our team thanks for the uh, support Olaf gifting three subs wait did we complete the level there, there was a train level one has been completed we will do a spin off the wheel and uh I don't want to talk about level two that's too dangerous on a three charge day Let, let's not let's just ignore what I just said oh we will open that box right we'll open a box in a moment hello Zareb I want to hide from my mother-in-law. No, she's a really nice person. I have no issues with her at all. Okay, so we got a couple of miners here. I will also go for just the miners. Because they might have nice modules. Let's find them. The scan says there's a lot. Oh, shoot. Shogun picked up on it. 25% to go until danger. Territory, eight, it's 18% now. I'm, I'm just gonna pretend this is not happening. Thanks for the support, everybody. You guys rock. Oh, what, what is this? We got... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, all I've closed the bag and... Yeah, there we go. Two batteries are on and I'm screwed, I guess. Well, let's just not tell any... Smigalier gifting tier two subs what the actual Again! okay good morning everybody <laughs> i guess a couple of you have now an animated chicken giving an egg um, it is it is done we are i don't know where we are at this point i i don't see level three is completed all right we you have a choice for a crazy wheel Wait with the char I, I did upgrade the charges already. There, there's two batteries. The circles. It is counting, and it is counting fast. <laughs> Shit. Um. Yeah. Should should we finish a level five? We will put a Marshall BPC on the uh, on the crazy wheel. But for now, we have three spins. And uh, thanks for the support, you guys rock. Okay, take it easy. Oh god, first hundred percent already done, and I. Uh, do we have ventures? <laughs> Let me let me do a little bit of scanning here. I'll be back with you in a in a moment. Do you want a banana? Okay. We we will give the charges two minutes. Maybe we can even have a two winner giveaway right away. So we can draw twice to streamline streamline the process there, Finn. Thanks for the bits. Thanks for the gift sub, Elvira. Much appreciated. And uh yeah, that level I, I, what level are we at? actually don't see what level we're at. Where do you see this? 
I think level four completed. Oh my God, level four is completed. You're working on level five. How many SP do I have? With my main uh, 215 million? Uh, Nick, uh, roughly. Okay, now let's go scan these, these ventures, shall we? Thanks for the support, everybody. Noob? Yeah, absolute noob. Uh, although all these skin skills are in sub capital, meaning I have a lot of golden tickets, so to speak. 400 mil? Oh, wow. Yeah, well, if you ever quit Eve, let us know. I'll, I'll take over your characters. Uh, and assets as well. Then we will do crazy giveaways. Okay, talking about giveaways, we have four spins on a wheel, 8% into uh, level 5. If we hit, if we complete a level 5, we will get the Marshall BPC on the wheel. Also, we will have a little bit of a transport session later. Uh, as I mentioned before, somebody quit the game on Saturday again. They already did that, did that once like a year ago. And they sent me around 50 billion worth of ISK and assets. So we, we can take care of this uh, after downtime, hopefully without any major accidents. But we'll see how that goes. Maybe we even get to talk to the person who quit again to figure out why. There's not one streamer on, on your level with the... So here's the thing. You're actually somewhat wrong. Because my original character is from... Whoa, Olaf. Olaf wants to see that level 5. Wait, where are we now? Again! We are half more than halfway through. Two minutes to go if my counter is correct, which usually isn't the case. Yeah, two minutes. I just refreshed the page. Will we get another 40% done and the Marshall BPC on the wheel that's the question um where was i so my original character from 2003 is skilling since 2003 uh but i gave that one to my brother in 2006 when i quit eve for uh for world of warcraft but my brother has been playing and skilling that guy ever since so technically i probably beat you <laughs> Nika, although my brother has been paying for that account since 2006, I guess. So, yeah, Again! maybe not. Maybe you still win. Good job. Uh, what's the maximal SP for an Eve tune? I have no idea what it is nowadays. All right, there's one minute left, 25%. Will we get the Marshall BPC on that wheel with five spins, which is crazy? Um, I, I, I guess we will. Yeah, crazy wheel confirmed. And the marshal on it. Olaf bringing us closer again. again. We're at 16%. And 40 seconds to go. Best case scenario, this stops at 99%. Um, let's see if Earth is going to be lucky. As a VO with a wiggle. Can deliver that. Don't be like that. 80, 16% chance. Oh no, oh no, no. Ah, Shagun did the math and hit it like, perfectly, kind of. Thanks for the support, everybody. We have uh, five spins on a giveaway wheel with a Marshall BPC on it, Again! which is, I don't know, cr crazy amount of isk. Let's see uh, if any more spins accumulate we will just wait another four minutes and 40 seconds and then we will we'll get to drawing shall we uh well get to spinning the wheel what is up here that's confusing somebody running this content right now no i do not see a response fleet but we gotta find these other ventures too they are actually sitting at a safe spot I want to go scan them. Maybe they have a nice item. Contempo has a lot done. He's at 70 days for skill cheese. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, and we are at 180% charging. Let's make it 200 and do the first giveaway in just a second. Let me warp the... 
fleet here. And this guy. Okay, while I scan, we need two more charges and we, we got the 200% and the first giveaway. Okay, there we go. Boom. Raffle is up. Two winners, 200 million each. Good luck. Thanks for the support. Uh, Again! Everybody, I don't know why the dinosaur just walked in here. That was... Odd. Good luck, everybody. I'm just scanning the frigates for modules right now. Let's see if they have anything juicy. We have another hour and 10 minutes for this content, then we will have to wait two hours for this to work. And during these two hours, we will go take some inventory off the player who left the game. Let's see what we want to move first. Walk the Dinosaur was a good song back in the day. I don't, I don't remember this song. Move the caps first. I don't I think it was all subcap stuff, but a lot of like DED faction loot and abyssal loot. There was even 1.7 billion in minerals. I uh, not minerals, uh, ore. I have to somehow, I don't know, work with, yeah, someone retired, actually, actually someone who retired last year already and gave us like 50 bill. Now they, they came back <laughs> and quit again after a year or so and sent another 50 bill. I, I really would love to know the, uh, the backstory there, but maybe we'll get the chance to ask them what happened historicals has about 15 billion in ore and in, and minerals they'll call in starting the stream to give to have people give them their stuff that that's a valid uh, way of playing the game i guess okay close the uh, closing the raffle two winners 200 million each good luck there is that popcorn now Ooh, mining holer i just found a holer let's go better be quick gotta trigger that guy what the hell did i just do okay right hang it hang in there uh, i gotta gotta go Ooh, a bustard Let's warp the fleet there. Oh shit, did I? Oh my god. We only have one winner? Okay, we will do a, a redraw to, to, to get another one in. So Skygen is the first winner. Let's wait for Skygen to speak up. Then I quickly have to pull the holer here. Skygen, you gotta speak up. Skygen is here. Okay, Skygen gets 200. Shoot. Yes, please. Burn away. Okay, so Skygen. And we need to do a redraw for the second person who gets 200. That is El Felixio. El Felixio, speak up. The train did also complete. Thanks for all the support, guys. You rock. Crazy stuff. Starting with 27, and now we're at 30%. Gonna be a full-time streamer today. <laughs> All right, El Felixio is here as well. Skygen, El Felixio, I need your in-game names. We will send you the ISK right now. Okay, this one here is pulling. That's great. Gotta find where they warped. All right, Skygen is Skygen. Hello, Chaos, how are you doing? Skygen gets 200. Let me... Uh, what just happened? Ah, uh, it's fine. I heard an aggro change. Okay, 200 mil. Skygen, congrats. And, uh, El Felixio. 
in-game name is El Felixio as well. Whoops. And now we have to prepare a, a big fat wheel. I'm scared. So it will to El Felixio. Congrats. Um, I'm doing fine so far. Uh, so here's a plan. We are going to get that uh, hauler, that bustard, and then we will populate the crazy wheel. And one of the prices is a Marshall BPC. I haven't even built it yet. But, it, you know, a Marshall BPC might even be more convenient than a Marshall itself. In a way, right? Because the BPC, you can just move in a shuttle. The Marshall undock from Chida eh. <laughs> might be shaky, pending. All right, Bustard. Let's get the fleet over there. Shuttles are definitely a safe way to move expensive goods, right? Exactly. Or you can go mining with Chaos with the Marshall. It is definitely a Marshall BPC Belkildin. Um, let's go. So this is going to go a bit faster because I have two Hecates shooting the thing now. We have around 2,400 DPS now on grid. This is a Tech 2 hauler though. They, these guys are having really, really annoyingly high resistances against thermal and kinetic what the main damage is of or the soul damage actually is of these hecates do you get much for killing the response fleet no they are just annoying but the response fleet i'm kiting on this client on the bottom right right now so they don't show up at the uh location i'm killing the hauler oh and this time i also need to salvage this is a tech 2 hauler we might even get some What's the word I'm looking for? Intact armor plates. <laughs> My brain is a bit slow. I need more coffee. Thanks, Crampy. Okay, let's see. Did we get anything? Yes, we got a block box and I'm going to salvage this. Actually, with both. Let's see who is faster. All right, salvaging is done, and we did get two and a half mil. Yeah, well, could have been worse. Okay, where to go next? Actually, I need to stay in the system. There were skiffs, so we, we also will farm some skiffs now. Let's find them. And prepare the wheel, the crazy wheel that is. Uh, where are the skiffs? Oh shit, there's more haulers? What? Wait a second. Ah, uh, I think that guy docked in the meantime. There were two haulers in the mix. Yeah, there's no anomalies. I think the haulers docked, so let's see. The skiffs are in another belt. Alright. Crazy wheel. What shall we put on a crazy wheel? Uh, let's turn it on. There. So we will start with 500 plex. A bill. The marshal. Uh, two bill. Okay, so we have four crazy-ish prices. And now clutter. Still five spins though. Uh, this one, this one, and the banana will make it a. Uh... That didn't work well. Looks good, like you like it, right? Okay, there's the crazy wheel. <laughs> we we have to do a crazy wheel when the marshal is on. Five spins, all the prizes picked will be raffled away, and find a winner each time. We hit one of these noises twice. We have an extra spin, so let's see how that goes. Are you ready for this? 
Let's find out how good this Wednesday is going to be to you. Spin number one. Here comes a bunch of bananas. Uh, I wish it's just one. Oh, we're going to get some isk. It is... All right, one billion isk confirmed. All right. First giveaway secured. One billion isk to start. That's actually the lowest price, if you think about it, apart from the, the noises. Okay, second one is a noise. Banana! Okay, that one. So we got one banana. Spin number three. Olaf tries not to think. Okay, ooh, oh, no, oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Shit. All right. Okay. There we go. Marshall Beat PC is going to be in the mix. That was spin number two. Uh, no. Three. Sorry. Spin number three. We have a Bill, we had a Banana, and Marshall. Spin number four. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, oof. Nino, Nino, Nino. We got one more spin. If it's a Nino or a banana, we have an additional one. Let's go. Oh, shit. All right. Nino, Nino, Nino. Okay. Now the banana can trigger another spin. This is the last spin now. No more banana. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, shit. <laughs> I was about to do the Nino sound. Okay, one bill. Marshall, two bill. Okay, so this is actually easy, sp excellent spinning. Yeah, I know. This sucks. Shit. So how do we do this? We will have one giveaway with three winners. The top winner gets the Marshall BPC. Second one gets the two bill. The third one gets one bill. After I kill the skiffs here, though. Hold on. I need to make some isk first. <laughs> Could have been worse, right? If the, the 500 plex was hit. I mean, it was three prices. That was pretty, pretty harsh there. But uh, so be it. Okay, skiffs are here. Uh, what do we do now? I need to to get back to the FC with these guys. Uh, how do we do this? One second. Um, fleet. That one needs to go there. Okay. Yeah, three out of four prizes is not bad. That's, well, for you. It's a shitty sort of ratio for me but well it, the marshal had to be to be going eventually right okay so these guys are now on grid so let's warp us to the skiffs do a little scanning maybe where do you find those npc miners in uh, any known space systems you can find these. Just descan. You'll see them. They are at belts. The haulers undock from the station and then eventually go to the belts and back. All right, let me do a quick scan here before we commit. Actually, I'm probably just going to kill some of the skiffs anyways. But uh, a module would obviously be a bonus. We can have the, the Hecate's kill skiffs while we do the uh, raffle let's set that up that's efficient okay they don't have modules apparently let's go check the other three can they be found in low and null set yes the response fleet however is is much much more harsh in these spaces as in you will have to deal with battleship responses and then you cannot just burn away you have to do this with a, a belt ping so to speak to kite the things away okay so the skiffs don't have something special but it doesn't matter we'll just lock one shoot it 
And I'm gonna burn away. That's the plan. Uh, please move, ship. Please move. Okay, there we go. Ship's moving. In theory, the salvage will be better. No. So, the, the rats themselves are always the NPC haulers and the miners themselves. I don't think anybody confirmed that the loot drop chances for these ships is better in null. I mean, this, it's a skiff. Wreck is a skiff wreck, so you would assume tech to salvage for a skiff, right? Uh, and the response fleet you kill not uh, you don't kill anyways is way too oh shit we have a a cruiser response fleet actually although yeah they shouldn't be able to reach me at this range anymore so we'll just keep burning let's find where the skiffs went Delf Null got a fleet Delf NPC has yeah yeah every time you, you are in NPC space right you can see this uh, where are the skiffs? The skiffs went over here-ish. Let's track them down, get starting, uh, get the shooting started, and then we'll have to get away. Launched. Crazy prices. Skiffs are over here. So I kill the skiffs for uh, intact armor plates here. Um, and I might do this content with five accounts eventually because I have them. Could be quite quick actually. Five, sort like one puller and four Hecates salvaging and killing skiffs. That could make quite a bit of isk per hour actually if I find a lot of skiffs that is. But yeah, we'll find out. Okay, so let's set this up. And then we will start the raffle right away. There are the skiffs. I would say we will we'll take that one. And then we'll take another target with a second Hecate. And here we go. We have a raffle. Three winners. Top winner gets the Marshall BPC. Second gets the two billion isk, and the third walks away with one billion courtesy of the hype train. Thanks for the support again. You guys rock. What's the red effects over the Neo Combar and the Heron window? The red effects. I'm not sure. I think that was just aggro indicator or something I don't I don't see anything special right now the skiffs are still being worked on the first two they are not dead yet they take a while to chew through especially with non EM ammo oh you, you think it was the EQ visualizer bleeding through could have been the thing right yep we'll leave the giveaway open for another like 20 seconds All right, first Hecate is done and started salvaging now. Second Hecate is following suit. Two more adverts. Okay, we'll wait with the draw then, I guess. Early bird, massive giveaways. Not lucky with the salvaging performance right now. 
Okay, closing the raffle. Three winners. That's like... I don't know, how much is a Marshall Beat PC? Seven to eight bill. Oh boy. All right then. Well, let's hope you didn't see yourself here exploding. And there we go. Wait, chaos died. Chaos died. Check. Okay, Boogie Woogie gets a Marshall BPC. Shortagul walks away with two billion, and William Follett gets a bill. Yeah, you missed that raffle, Teeks, and it was a pretty substantial one. Uh, looks like sure to go once his prize. Boogie, Woogie as well, and William. Okay, let's 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 take a, sh a screenshot so I don't forget who gets what. There we go. That worked. I think. Mm, my snipping tool is. Something happened here. My computer is not happy with whatever happened hold on oh now okay we got it whatever that was uh let me get the salvaging started here okay i will need the account with the prices launching that guy right now while i'm just salvaging on here a little bit that that was totally rigged as usual oh i killed two skiffs already the first whoa we got 25 million already in this account here for the salvaging and 1.6 mil on the other guy that was not lucky all right let's get some more done i'll switch the screen now so you can see the proceedings of the giveaways. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. That one. Okay, so. Where do I have that BPC? Marshall BPC. Um, is that in ships? Yeah, there. Ouch. Okay, goodbye. It was a pleasure having you for a while. Contract goes to... Boogie Woogie's in-game name. Boogie Woogie is Deer Hunter. Boogie Woogie. Here's your BPC. Claim it within four weeks or it will go back to me. And I will happily take that off your hands again. And then we have Shortugal with two billion isk. Do I have isk? I do. Congrats, Shortugal. And we have one last winner, which is William Follett, to get the bill. Then we're caught up on the giveaways. Somewhat. Uh, William, are you there? I mean, you shot. Ah, oh, there. In-game name, William Follett. Found it. Thanks. It actually happens, Bernard, once in a while, but not very often that prices come back because the contract was uh, expiring. Okay, there we go. Did I just... Did an NPC hauler arrive? No. We're good. Oh, wait. You, ki you killed a hauler in a belt in Nalsic once. They had over 100 million trit. Yeah, but that was actually changed. Shot to goal. The amount of ore they drop was nerfed massively so that's no longer really a thing the, you know shooting these for, for actual ore <laughs> Boogie Woogie got the Marshall EPC alright you did well again thanks a lot everybody for the support goes right back into the channel it is much appreciated gonna drink to that cheers happy Wednesday Uh, how many skiffs was that? Uh, total of six. Let's... No. Total of eight. So wait. NPC convoys that spawn in, ben is spawn in belts. Okay, that's a different kind of content though then. 
how do you get the horse to spawn? Um, so when the miners are full, they will call in the hauler. It usually takes 90 minutes to two hours for them to be full. That's the numbers I know. Okay, let's peek into the the drop. Actually, I should probably pick up the... Uh, the compressed Veldspar, so to speak. <laughs> Cheers, Devs Daniels, thanks for being here. And uh, yeah, I was a bit AFK this start of the week. Monday was family lunch, Tuesday. I had some admin stuff. Tomorrow I will probably not make it either because uh, they want to have a business lunch at work. We have a new team member and uh, yeah, that's a standard. I gotta show up there. So we'll be live Friday, Saturday and Sunday though. That's confirmed. Okay, that one's finished. Let's go kill the last one. What's my cargo hold saying? Oh, we got another bunch of armor plates. Nice. Wow, look at that. 46 million just from this spawn so far. Plus another, yeah, well, 1.7 mil. <laughs> second. Second guy isn't, isn't that lucky, apparently. So we have two more skiffs to kill and salvage. I could definitely see this content working very well with four ski uh, four Hecates doing this. April Fool Caspone, yeah, me being live, somewhat of an April Fool's uh, joke for sure. Um, oh, let's open the boxes. We got two haulers so far. Wish me luck. First box is Crap. Okay, we got a Porpoise Kildari Industrial Livery Skin for 16 mil. You can sell these boxes for like 30 mil or you open them and potentially get way less or way more if you're lucky, but usually way less. I'm doing good. Uh, sorry, these are not combat sites. Those are NPC. Polar and minor hunting things and the Prospect Kildari Industrial Livery Skin. So I lost money opening these boxes, but could be, you know, jackpot. Uh, let's hope the skiffs are gonna pay. Okay, that one's down. And Crazy Eve, thanks a lot for the raid. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the shout out, Olaf. Let's see what we get with the last two salvage rounds, and then we were. We'll move on to the next system. You never met those NPCs. Oh, they're everywhere in known space, NPC known space, so to speak. Okay, that salvage was pretty bad. Let's hope for the other one to be better. Eight gifts, 47 mil of salvage. Let's see what the last one provides. Oh, this one is high sec right now, sorry. Greetings, Charlie. I'm waiting for the salvage for the second Hecate. You don't see the second Hecate on the screen. Oh, same setup though. Same activity. Just waiting for the salvage to finish. Might have shittier salvaging skills, although no. I can run a tech too, so I guess same. Are they mining? They are mining in the belts. Sorry. You, you will see it in a moment. We will just go to the next system. I'll explain the process. That is the plan. Uh, which gate are we going anyways? Antari. Okay. That one can already go there. I killed all the skiffs, so I can bring the hauler to the next gate as well. And there we go. Salvage was nothing. So, almost 50 million off salvage fair enough I guess no worries this content is new to to many people it's not a very usual thing to do 
Although, uh, since Chaos picked it up as well a while ago, it's probably a bit more popular. Okay, I did jump. T-scan is clear. Let's warp to the next gate. As soon as the other guy is here. There we go. Probes out. Let's find ourselves some miners. NPC miners, that is. Scan of the whole system. Oh, wait. We, we got ventures here. I just saw them on D-scan now. All right. Uh, there is a hauler as well. Okay, cool. They're probably around here. I can see the hauler because of the difference in um, signal strength. And thanks for the support, Kylie. Tier two, six months. And this is this hauler is is a courtesy of Kylie. Oh, oops, let's scan it down. Warp the fleet there. Oof. Ah, shit, the hauler just left. Let's see where it went. Maybe we can still get it. We just need to figure out where it went. Probably went to a station. We have to be fast now. Uh, the hauler is here. Okay, it went to... Where did it go? That's odd. Oh, wait, yeah, there's a station. Poxu Mineral Station. I'm going to warp the fleet there, as well as myself, to go pull that fucker. Oh shit, it, did it already dock? No, oh wait, it went to the other belt. Shit, I'm an idiot. It didn't go to the station. I did not know that they go from belt to belt. I thought they go station, belt, station. Wow, all right, well. Let's go then. We have them. They don't? I mean, that guy just did. Apparently. It was in a belt, then it went to another belt. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to just shoot the NPC hauler with my, my little scanner puller and burn away to, to kite the response fleet. You want to be like at least 50 or 60 kilometers away when the frigate one arrives. Otherwise, it will get toast. These two guys, or my, my Hecates, are not going to get aggression because I didn't shoot the hauler. I, I did that with my puller, so they don't have to worry. They can just sit there. Uh, the response fleet is coming in, and it's, it's frigates only. Now let's see where they went. It was the other day, the resubscription. Thanks, Kylie. Dang, I don't even have to stream anymore, right? <laughs> nah, that would be boring for me. Okay, there's the hauler. I'm going to warp the fleet. My puller here is excluded from fleet warp, so that's perfectly okay. We keep pulling the other guys while... The Hecates are now going to kill the Badger. This nukes, uh, it it does cost standings, but we're talking milli standings per sort of aggression. Usually 007, so seven milli standings. It's completely irrelevant. I never had any issues because of that. All right, Badger goes down. Stop the genocide, protect the population. <laughs> it's NPCs. I don't feel bad about it. And they pay me doing it. So there you go. Uh, that was it. We're going to the next system. And in the meanwhile, let's check what's in the box. Okay, we only got a skin. Uh, this time it's the prospect again. All right. 
We have a set now. <laughs> that was a bust. Sticky Lama, I'm wondering, what's the best for a new player um, or easiest way to judge how tough NPCs are? Oof. I mean, if you're in high sec and doing DEDs, it's generally the size of the thing. You know, is it a frigate? Is it a destroyer? Cruiser? Battleship? Battle cruiser? Whatever. Um, yeah, the, the bigger, the harder they hit, unless you were a small, in a small vessel, then they might have a problem applying. But if they web you, they will probably apply quite nicely. And yeah, there is a group of enemies that is called elite and uh, they are really tough. They can be in, in anomic missions, but also, I believe, in, in normal, uh, well, in level, in higher level missions, right? So, a, a sticky llama, if you are doing stuff in high sec, generally speaking, you can always shoot the things and see what happens and then warp off. Unless there are, s no, are there level four normal, are there normal level four missions which do point? I'm not, I don't think so, actually. If you do not do the anomics, the burner missions, you should never get pointed. There are a few, okay. So, okay, but one can say most of the time you, you just shoot at the stuff and if, if it's too much, you, you warp off. In high sec, that generally should work. Ah, some high sec escalations to point, but not like... Okay, yeah, some, some missions might. I, I don't usually run all the missions, just some of them. I'm cherry picking missions, right? Uh, are we in, where are we? Did I jump? I jumped, right? Yes, okay, let's go. Um, Yudama is next. Oh, I didn't. Wait, did I only bring eight probes? No, I did not. So Olaf has a nice link for you, Sticky Llama. Eve Survival might help you out there with the information you're seeking as in to specifically which mission that would point so world collides has a point for example i see okay there is no npcs here let's go Why is this thing not on auto reload? What's the problem? Ah. Oh, I think I jumped before it did reload. All right. Good morning, Jethros. How's it going? Okay, let's see if Sivala has some NPCs for us. Oh, we gotta hurry. I only got 30 minutes and then that. Oh, yeah, we got some. Uh, those are all miners, the way it looks. Hello, Johnner. How are you doing? Happy hump day indeed. We're doing good. Thanks. How are you? Oh. Oh, mining barge. Oh, wait. No, that's a mining barge. Wait, are the other guys all gifts those are the retrievers right exhumers are tech 2 mining barge are tech 1 yeah let's go check these out maybe they have modules all right warp i'm gonna check this one as well because i believe there's a bunch of skiffs over here they were ah or maybe those are ventures they were not the same strength Oh no, they're also retrievers. I'm confused now. Well, let's see if they have modules. And while I'm scanning, there's a good chance that uh, an NPC hauler shows up as well. Holy shit, that's a lot of them. Okay. How many targets do I have? Five, okay.
<laughs> Johnny cannot complain. Congrats. Uh, which ship usually have the modules? Oh, the even the boxes, the dro uh, the strong boxes can have the modules, the ones that drop from the hauler. But I I cannot say ventures have more likely modules than skiffs. There's no such metric I know of, at least. Are you kidding me? This fucking rat just jammed me. <laughs> There's one NPC or a couple of NPCs, Garista's NPCs, and they just had a successful jam. You gotta be kidding me. Rude. Okay, hold on. We, we're, we're trying this again. <laughs> I got... Okay, fuck these. <laughs> what? That's the first. I've never had that happen before. Now I know what I should put in that other mid slot. Probably a sensor booster, right? It was more than one one rat. That was the problem there. They were lucky. Okay, we will scan the other group. In the hopes that... Yeah, these guys here are not jammers. All right. Damn. Rude. Interrupting PvE content here. With a jam. What is this? Hello, TK. How's it going? Okay, that is... Nothing. I gotta scan them multiple times. The ship scanners are not very... What's the word I'm looking for? The results are not very reliable. There we go. Found the word. confused I was definitely not cloaked why did it not reload skill issue I hope not okay let's go different things here uh we got ventures oh skiffs we got a bunch of skiffs nice let's have them for breakfast Oh, another bunch of skiffs. Actually, this is the better group. It's six. Yeah, we'll kill these first. Although, wait, five, six. Not much of a difference. Actually, seven. Okay, we'll, we'll kill. We'll kill these first. Um, where's my ship? There. Need to shoot that thing before the belt rats are jamming me and I'm jammed. Glorious, okay. Oh, uh, is it good? Is we will we will tell you, TK, after this. I killed so far I killed eight skiffs. We will keep the, the tally. Eight skiffs, about 50 million. Let's see. 
what happens next. Uh, the response fleet is... Ooh, something bigger is coming here. Cruisers. Wait. Shit. Battleships as well. Okay, I'm gonna overheat my... Although those are not the laser guys, I think we should be fine. I'm gonna go with one heated cycle to get away a bit further. This time we have quite a substantial response fleet. I think we should be fine though. We're 200 kilometers away now. Battleships finally started locking. Missiles have been fired. Now let's hope they don't reach my ship or I will be toast. Should be fine though. Let's find these gifts again. How much standing you lose? About 7 milli standings per interaction. Uh, ETVDs. Huh? Which one is it? I'm confused. Oh wait, yeah, makes sense. No, shit, those are the other skiffs. No, 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 those are the correct ones. Those were the ones that run away. Oh, no, wait, no, they are not. I'm an idiot. Eh, Erst. The other group. Greetings, Quartz. Combat probing is hard. So, where are the other guys? Over here. Gotta be quick. I want to get the other group as well. Okay, there we go. That one's keep keeps kiting. Greetings, Black Core on YouTube. Okay, both skiffs are working, uh, both Hecates are shooting. I wonder how much EHP a skiff has. A bit less, I believe, than a Tech 2 hauler, though. Metal scraps are a really good way to transport Veldspar. I will use my metal scraps from this activity to bring to the system where I do PI. Oh, by the way, I got four accounts now at my new Nullsec PI location. Six accounts, miss, uh, not, not accounts, sorry, four characters are currently doing PI. Six more to go. Alright, let's see what the salvage is. 
Oh, wow, we got another bunch of armor plates. So those were skiff 9 and 10. Oh, what's this tune? Uh, the money here is actually, I would say the consistent income is in salvaging, but you really want to get the modules. They can drop. There's a module that's like 500 million isk that can drop from this. It is extremely rare, but it can happen. Gifts are. Wanna play with these as well. Still salvaging with the other Hecate. Nothing came out of it yet. Bayerman, thanks a lot for 10 months. Welcome again. again. To the sub club. Happy Wednesday to you. Okay, another one bite the dust. Bites the dust. Bit the dust. I don't know. English hard. Where are we going next? Probably that one. There are the other skiffs. I'm gonna go trigger these as well before downtime. Okay, salvage is done. Oh, we, we even got... No, I'm not sure. Did I get anything? Maybe. Oh, I got a nice three intact armor plates on the other vessel though. Nice. Okay, let's kill the remaining skiffs. Two left, so that would have been... After this, we, we killed 13 skiffs. That's my optimal ranger. 225, okay, perfect. This is a nice activity, right? Um, holy oak. You can do this all over high sec. Just descan for NPC haulers, combat probe them down, or NPC miners. Snack their loot, and uh, skiffs give you tech two salvage. So I'm primarily focusing on skiffs and haulers these days. We'll get another bunch of skiffs shot at in a moment. Need to clean up these two. Concord won't respond, no. You can find them in low and null as well, although the response fleets are harsher. Which doesn't really matter that much as long as you're um kiting the response fleet. Okay, here we go. Salvaging. Uh, all the skiffs are dead now. That means I can move my scanner to the next group and pull that one. Ah. Go there. If I leave grid with my puller here before everything else is dead, the, the skiffs we just killed, the response fleet will join them and then I'm screwed with my Hecates here. But since everything is dead, they will no, no longer join the safe spot. So I can move my puller to the next group and get that actually started. Let's pull the skiffs by just aggressing them and burning away. That's the plan. Okay, salvaging is done. 
like to group up with my my friends here. Okay, let's see where the skiffs went. Uh, the response fleet is here. What did we get? Cruisers and frigates. Uh, Victoria, you can gain intact armor plates, mining modules, which are super expensive, mining upgrade modules, and skins, and uh, harvester drone PPCs. But it's very rare. Okay, we got 15 minutes to clear out another six, seven skiffs. The response fleet is really brutal, though. So the only way you want to deal with them is kite the response fleet. Okay, we good. Warping the fleet. That guy keeps on kiting. Okay, so after 13 skiffs, we are looking at a total of 82 plus. So 103 million I have after 13 skiffs. Let's go for the next one. They're diamond rats, yeah, Floyd. So this account here on the bottom right is a frigate with combat probes to find the stuff. And it has a get well a gun on it, a small gun on it. I trick I shoot one of the things I want to kill. And then these things warp away to the safe spot. And the response fleet comes in. Since I'm the one that aggressed though, I'm the one that is being pursued by the response fleet. And I just stay here on grid with them and burn away from them hiding them indefinitely in the meantime well i have to combat probe again where the miners went or the hauler right and then i send my hecates here to that place as long as i'm staying with the frigates that pulled on grid with the response fleet the response fleet will not join the safe spot where i can just in peace <laughs> in peace quote unquote kill all of these guys here all right, let's, uh... So after this, we will have killed 20 skiffs. Okay, yeah, after we, we're done with this, we had 20 skiffs in total. Let's see how much isk that is. How long has it taken till now? Oh, actually, it's more about finding the skiffs. They die relatively fast. Uh, but I'm not all, only looking for that. I'm also looking for the haulers. We also got two haulers so far. They have a potential of a lot of isk. So it's a mix. I didn't have any good drops, by the way, so far. That's just the basic income. Uh, also, I'm reusing three accounts, right? Keep that in mind. Uh, if you do this with a single account, it's going to be tedious and maybe not worth your time. But if you have a lot of accounts or a couple of accounts, uh, it might actually make sense. Okay, we got that one. Let's burn to the next skiff. How fast does the response fleet show up? Um... If you only need to kill one ship, and it's not a Tech 2 ship, you can do it before the response fleet arrives, but it takes about 20 so or so seconds for them to show up. You do not have a lot of time. You have to be quick with your business. And if you're still there, if they catch you, they will scram you, and they will end you really quickly. How would you do this with one account? Um, you would warp in with your 
polarized Hecate, and if it's a tech one hauler, or if your target is just a tech one frigate or miner, well, you kill it and you warp off before the response fleet arrives. Otherwise, you would then uh, pull the thing, warp at 100 to the safe spot, burn away for a couple of minutes so the response fleet separates from the haulers, and then you warp back on top of the hauler. So it could do that, but it takes way longer to, to achieve. Uh, did I did I loot this? No, there we go. That one. Could a well fit Loki kill the Diamond Rats? Uh, no. The, the problem with the Diamond Rats mainly is if they bring more than two Logi, you cannot kill this stuff with one vessel. You simply don't have enough DPS. They Logi the shit out of each other. I, I was there in a Leshak once and I, I had chat save me because I didn't have enough DPS. Aryun, thanks a lot for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Where do I go next? This one. Okay, we got 10 minutes till downtime. The damage is really crazy high. If you get anything more than a frigate group for the response servant, tanking it is going to be... I, I don't think it's it's actually possible. With a, with a single ship to tank it. If it's a cruiser group, maybe. But if it's a battleship group, you will not tank it in a in a sub capital. I'm pretty sure. You you can still bring five vargers and you lose all of them, right? Yeah. These things are crazy hard. Okay, what's my loot saying? No luck so far on this one. All right. Three more skiffs to go. A habit ribbit. You don't really have to to scram them at the safe spot. It's just habit. If you want to keep them on the belt to kill them there, yeah, you need a scram, but here you don't. So that's a waste of modules I have activated here. Let's turn them off, shall we? Yeah, they need to hit the initial offender. I mean, NPC AI never made much sense, did it? Okay, let's go help the other guy. That was bad salvage so far. We're still sitting at 83 mil here. The other guy has... 24. Let's see if it gets better.
Okay, everything is dead. Uh, I'm gonna quickly check the next system because there's still time. Maybe we can snag a hauler before downtime. Okay, we're done with salvaging. Oh, we got some actually this time. Let's. I'm gonna jettison all the loot from my second account to hand it over to the first one. So after killing 20 skiffs, I got 127 million of salvage. Plus three skins with the haulers. Uh, where did I go? I did go to Hadakani. Let's go. Is there any range limit which diamond rats will stop chasing your heron? I've never encountered any. Uh, I even played this with... Um, how's it called? with warp in pings so coded like literally thousands of kilometers away and they still chased me can you play the this for free yes r2 gaming there is a so-called alpha account state for eve online which as a new player you won't really feel a difference the uh, paid subscription is is gonna feel important to you if you know what you're doing if you're like oh shit i want to have skills trained faster and this sort of things but the first few days absolutely irrelevant uh, i suggest though you use a body link like this one to set up your account get 1 million skill points unallocated right away and uh, i wanted to do a quick scan of some of this although yeah that's not gonna work in time there's no hauler Oh, hauler, hauler, hauler. A hauler just arrived. Oh, God. We gotta be quick. Ah, shit. Launch. I want that thing before downtime. Oh, God. I have to be real quick now. Where is the hauler? It is a batcher. That's fine. We have three minutes and 40 seconds till server downtime. The hauler is this one. Where is it? What did I call? I don't know what I call you. Chaos. All right, the hauler is over here. We gotta go trigger and find that guy right away. Did I jump the gate with these clowns? I did. Okay, cool, found the hauler. Let's go. Gotta pull and scan him down again and we gotta kill it before downtime. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe that's the one with a big payout. There it is. Hello, my friend. Shoot and run. Okay, we got it. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, this should work. Okay, the hauler warped off. Now we need a second for it to settle wherever it settles. It is ESG in terms of signature. They went this way, all right. Got him. There we go. The Hecates are on the way. We got a frigate response fleet. Nice. And I have a minute to deal with this. Oh yeah, don't leave the probes in space. Good point. Thanks. Done. Got it. Now we need to murder this before downtime. Uh, the first rat you encounter on grid will start moving. That's why I'm uh, webbing it. Okay, we got two Hecates shooting it. We should be good. And there it popped. Nice. We got a box. All right, is this it? 
So sell it for 30 mil or open it and potentially get much less. Let's see, am I lucky? The answer is no, we only have a skin. Although it could be a Oracle skin, then it's still decent, but it's a Procure skin. All right. For seven mil, not, not great. And that was it, Downtime Inc. NPC Holder Hunt, I made about a hundred, what, 130 mil? No, 159 million estimate. It's not great, but I didn't have a single lucky drop. It is something. Cheers. We need more ways of earning skins in game. I actually wonder how we are going to earn the skins we are designing with a new ship design, uh, skin designer thing again. And thanks for the f uh, support there. 13 months. Happy Wednesday to you as well, Gonk. Welcome. Indeed. Okay, we're going to wait for downtime and then. Then we're going to find out how to pull about 30 billion -esque. Yep. Sarvan did exploration for about one and a half hours and only got, uh, got wait, he cleared 26 anomalies, zero escalations, and no good combat sites, earned no isk at all. Wow, okay, that sucks. Let me get that mic up a little bit. Oh, we have another raffle, guys. Charging is over 100%. We have one winner of 200 million isk. Good luck. Hello, Clive. How's it going? We will also catch up with the 200 million isk giveaways from Monday, Tuesday, and today. We'll pace it a little bit. We had about a 10 billion giveaway at the start of the stream. Thanks to that Marshall BPC finding a new owner. So we take it a bit slower. You like the music, TK? Uh, today is suspense. Theme R2 Gaming. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. Cheers. There was no patch from what I can tell. There should be something happening in regards to the next expansion this week. Or this week, this month, I reckon. Stay tuned. Plus, there are a couple of... Well, there's a tournament. The uh, Anger Games over the... Wait. Weekend 2, 3, and 4, I believe, in April. And there's also the... Uh, the FFA Rix is organizing. I believe on the... Was it on the 10th? No. Cannot be. When is Rix Chavix? Is it at the 20th? It's the 20th. Okay. Got it. And uh, yeah, break core with two Hecates. You can blab even the the Batcher tech one hauler. So if you have one Hecate, a polarized Hecate, who is doing 1,300 DPS or something, you can kill any holer except for the Batcher, uh, any tech one holer except for the Batcher before the response fleet arrives. The Batcher not because of the resistances, but if you have two Hecates, that works obviously. But you have to get both of them out before the response fleet arrives. Uh, do we know when there's a new big in-game event again? Uh, I, it's, I would say, mere days slash weeks craze, I would say. it Something has to happen soon in my opinion but we'll see closing the raffle good luck 200 million is to the winner i'm having trouble 
getting my launcher started. Ah, there we go. Okay, the winner. And this time is Quartz fan. Congrats, Quartz. You gotta speak up. Let us know you're here. And Quartz is here. What is your in-game name? It seems the server is up as well. And the in-game name is Newt Tnlib. Tnilb, even. Alright. I will not even try. 200 mil is yours. Okay, so now we need to get ready for some transporting here. It will most likely be the crane. And I got a contract a shitload of things to my main now so here's what, what happened uh on saturday i believe it was a viewer quit eve again and they sent again about 50 billion worth of stuff in this unfortunately this is not in chida they don't live in chida so we gotta figure out a way how to get this shit uh to to the right place i'm gonna create a huge whoops that was the wrong guy actually gotta go log in the right tune and create a huge contract we'll probably break the server right after downtime with this stay tuned contracts coming up just gonna log in the other guy There we go. How do I... Oh my god. I'm not even sure this fits in one contract. We'll find out. And then we will do a first run to bring this home. Okay, next. I'm waiting for the server to respond. You can always contract it to Solvizi. That, yeah, obviously I could, I guess. So I did hit finish on the contract. It has not popped up yet. Hello, contract. It's probably somebody at CCP looking at the uh, resource monitor of the servers and it's like, what the hell is this? Wait, is it working or is it not working? Did we break the game? Hippie, wait, someone sent you 50 bill of stuff as well. Really? Oh wait, oh sorry, that was the contract. Yeah, no. <laughs> you have entered too many items into the contract. The max, oh, turns out. The maximum contract size is 2,000. Did you know that? I did not know that. Okay. Apparently 2,700 is too much. All right, we'll try this again. Um, okay, how are we going to go about this? First half, maybe? Thousand was a time ago, was it? All right, let's try again. Uh, 
That is so they can charge me twice. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I think the first, yeah, the first contract just uh, just arrived. Uh, we're gonna go there. Accept. Ooh, it's a little bit wonky there. Yes, please. Okay, first contract check. Now let's see if we can send the rest, or if that's still too much. I wonder how much I will be able to stuff into my blockade runner. Oh shit. 2033, really now? I, I didn't split it in half properly. And we just got an intruder. Oh, oh, hang in there. Little one is here. What's up? You're eating chips. Yeah, why are you showing this to me? This is mean. I don't have chips. Yeah, I don't have chips. Yeah, go, go eat your chips in the living room, hmm, please. Close the door, please. Thank you. It's showing up with a plate of chips. Potato chips, that is. Knowing I didn't have lunch yet. Children, right? <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, well... I should tax them. No, I will just not give them chocolate later. <laughs> or something. Uh, do my kids speak English? Yes, they do. Did that work? I'm still trying to get contracts up. There we go. Yeah, I think we just got it. Nice. Okay, I got everything now. Yeah, big contracts are really wonky on with a UI. Let's see, I need to accept one more. And then we gotta go there. Probably need a refit first to make this safe-ish. Uh, what did I want to do? Contracts are here, yeah. That one is still open. Except, oh, there, oh, there's even abyssal stuff. It might be more than 50 bill, actually. I just realized. Oh, well, it was just one AB, though. Uh, let's go there. We, we will have a look at that treasure trove together. It appears to be 16 jumps. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, we, we're going to not bring this stuff. I'll deal with this later. What's my fitting right now? Sub 4 aligned, we cannot get sub 3, I believe. Yeah, we'll do this. Let's go. Hello, Pedoptic. How's it going? Yeah, I would have kind of expected her to bring some chips to me now, but... Uh... They're probably not old enough yet to understand how this works, right? And I thought I had an Insta Undock. Insta Undock, I do. Okay, there we go. Hello, Vector Grammar. How's it going? You're digging the track. Wait, can you hear it? The next lesson is how to share with others. Oh, boy. This is, is still a major issue, especially with... So they are twins, yes, but they are not the same. Uh, and the bigger one is really bitchy. So yesterday, their mother bought them another Paw Patrol egg, and they are still missing, like... Were missing. Uh, Sky, whatever. Turns out the little one got the egg with Sky in it, and then the big one was really pissed. Uh, yeah, we, we, we're still figuring out how to to explain to her that this sort of behavior is not gonna gonna be productive. 
loot boxes are really painful, right? All I've, I mean, you know, if you have a... If you just have one child, you have so many... Or you have so... Uh, sorry, let's try that again. A lot of the problems you don't have because you're never going to be like, oh, if that one has one, that one needs one too. And preferably the same thing so they don't fight over it. Because, you know, if you have two different things, one of the things, one of them at least, will perceive as better and luck will have it that the other one got it. And then... <laughs> Shit, right? Yeah, if there's a decent age gap, it obviously works as well, right? But twins? Jesus Christ. R2 Gaming just reactivated the account. It started 10-ish years ago, but never really got into it. Good luck. Also, um, use this link, sir. That will give you 1 million unallocated skill points. Retroactively. So you don't need to create a new account. You can use your current account, log in with this, claim the points. Unless you created that account with a body link 10 years ago, you won't get it a second time. Olaf says, as a younger sibling, he can say that being a single child would have been boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm looking at this from the perspective of parents, right? And uh, the twins are, are bitching each other once in a while. Cheers, R2 Gaming. Enjoy your skill points. Um. Okay, content right now is me trying to somehow not lose double digit billions while transporting them on stream shall we <laughs> uh we call this now i'm the holder right i just killed npc holders before holding exclamation point well give the evil twin away to create a future super villain oh uh, yeah she is gonna if you think the, the world is effed right now wait for her to grow up no i mean generally they're doing fine it's just these situations where competition comes in Shot to goal has a suggestion on how to reduce my chances of getting ganked. Don't do it on stream. All right. That would be boring, though. I like the thrill, actually. Uh, also, uh, well, not in regards to thrill, but the Nullsec PI stuff is coming along quite well. The uh, setup or the configuration we did does not overflow just with a launch pad. It, it works like there's always like worst case, 25% is free in the launch pad. Oh, this is pretty good. And it's really unattended over seven days. And then I have to move stuff. So that part's going to work. How much ISK this is going to make? We have yet to figure out, obviously. Do I have a dedicated Cheetah Trader? Yeah, this guy, actually. This guy is uh, in charge of, of all the shinies. The production and the selling and buying. And it is also a very decent blockade runner pilot. Which helps. Oh, that's the only thing this guy does. Trading and producing and blockade runner movement. I wonder how laggy that hangar will be once we're there. So we know there's at least... There's 2,700 items. Commander Zima says he he heard having twins is the worst. People say it is way easier to have one kit and then another. You know, I, I don't have any reference, a uh, point of reference. We, we have twins, and I said, that's it. So we have to. We'll do it at one in one go. And, uh, you know, sometimes it's actually, I would say maybe 30% of the time, they keep themselves busy without bitching each other so that's great uh greetings east side good afternoon 
and 50% they sleep and the other 20% they're bitching. <laughs> Pretty much. So Commander says people say it's harder to take care of two kids of the same age. Yeah, I again, I cannot compare. So a friends of yours had twins and they do not recommend it. Yeah, in a way, so what I'm about to tell you is going to sound weird, but it feels like rewarding to cook once and serve it to two people rather than just one, right? Have two bottles prepared when they were younger. It felt like achieving, it, it felt like efficiency, right? Having two at the same time, like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of looking at all the activities so I, I usually take care of them in well from well afternoon snack and then evening meal on the weekends i do breakfast as well i look at it like a grind in a way and i always make a little bit of progress right every meal fed every veggie in their bodies i feel is progress and if you have two of them you just get more progress with the somewhat the same amount of work right Cheers, Usa. All right, then. Uh, Sakushi, thanks for the follow. Welcome to the channel. So, this little trick says 1, 6, and 12. Or 16 and 12? 1, 6, and 12. Oh, TV Dad has 17, 12, and 1 and a half. Oh, that's a big gap there between... Well, for the last one. So being an only child in the 70s was pretty okay. You had lots of friends, says Diewolf. Nice. Multi-boxing parenting. Yeah, that kind of came in handy. The multi-boxing experience, TK. Right? Hello, Rockinos. Although I didn't do multi-boxing until, what, half a year ago-ish? Well, not more than two anyways. So we are about to arrive at the location with all the treasure. The good thing is the 17 billion in ESC is obviously safe in the wallet, right? Uh, the person sent me. Now we got to take care of the other 30-ish billion. <laughs> Somehow. Oh, boy. Is that for a raffle? Well, over time, Sticky Llama? Yeah, sure. But not all of it at once. We will obviously also put that into content, you know, blowing ships up and... Maybe have Earth-sponsored kitchen sink fleet or whatnot. We'll come up with something. I could just sell the materials modules to high sec buyback. Nah. I could, right? But I, I don't want to. We'll find out. Maybe we'll even... Oh, shit. There's a fob in here. Although fobs shouldn't do stuff at gates. So we'll... we'll be fine. TW says that one of their friends has seven children. And I said once to me that it does not matter how many children... Uh, you have after the first three the older ones start to help with the younger ones and the situation remains constant whether the number of children okay whatever the number of children you have interesting okay so here we are let's see what we have oh boy okay those are the ships six billion worth of hulls even even a tango and a couple of tech to winergal and a... what's this? A, a Kitursa. Okay. Alright, six billion worth of hulls. The hangar has some... ooh. One point... some two billion worth of resources. and I don't know what to do with this. Probably I will sell that one to Isaac buyback. There's no way I'm gonna move 2.4 million cubic meters of shit. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay, then they have a bunch of abyssal B pieces. Oh, I like the entropic radiation sinks, actually. 
They will make a little bit of money. The rest is most likely not really valuable. There's a second box. Yeah, same thing. That one's empty. 60 million worth of apparel. About 10 billion worth of dead space modules. All right. And implants, apparently. I don't know what that is. Half a billion of firestorm filaments. All right. Another half a billion of... Oh, what is this? That's not too bad, depending on what you want to use it for. Ammunition skins. A billion worth of skins. Ooh, oh, mutated drones. Wait, what? Yeah, one, that, that one is now great. I think that I think those were sort of fake. Oh no, that one is okay. I don't know. You got mass raging gamma. Wait, what? Us? Oh, you want to buy either one? No, just firestorm. Uh, okay, what else is there? Tech, tech one BPCs and ah. Oh. BPCs for ships. All right. Trig ammo. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot of trig ammo. Okay, so how are we gonna? I think I'm just gonna repackage all the sh. Ooh, even a freaking golem. 1.8 billion fit golem with tech two rigs. Damn it. So I think what I, what I want to do is get a repair quote and then I'm just gonna gonna repackage all the ships so we can see the modules, right? I will probably sell the hulls to high sec buyback because they're just too bulky. Okay, wait. So we have 2 billion worth of stuff here, right? With materials and now we're gonna go repackage all the ships. I'm not sure I can do that in one go, actually. Probably not. Oh, wow. Okay. That worked. <laughs> All right, the hulls are still worth six bill. How much is in this item container now? It was two bill before. And now it's 15.9 bill. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay. Uh, let's order that by type. We're going to go repackage a little bit of stuff here. There shouldn't be any repairs, right? No. That's going to take a while. 500 modules repackaged. Actually, it was pretty quick. All right. So, the problem is going to, can I, wait, can I put more than a thousand items in my ship? Probably not, right? Or can I? No. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Could have brought a shuttle, right? Okay, we, we're not going to. Ah, uh, shit. You would buy the ships if you had the money, shorty. There you go. I can use containers? Good point. I, wait, I could just... Uh, how big is this? 1000 cubic meters. Can I buy small containers here? I 
I may be able. No. Ah, shit. Ten jumps is the closest to cell location. Oh, no. Well, we will deal with the BPCs later. I guess we'll, we'll go for the items first. Yeah, we'll, we'll fill up with items. How many T 117. Okay, let's get this in. So 10 bill. And then we will get the uh, the modules here as well. I don't know if, if this is going to fit, actually. Yeah, probably not, really. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, you know what? We will order this by estimated price. That makes more sense, right? Oh, <gasps> holy shit. The guy has A-type multi-spectrum shield hardeners. The fuck? Okay, crazy. Don't really want the MTUs. Oh, the Magpie's great. I'll take that. And then we'll take this. That. Yeah, that's still gonna fit. No? What? Oh, shit. What did I... Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not gonna work. Alright, that's gonna work. Uh, the, the, the ore and this materials... Whoa, f What? 3.4 billion triglavian goo? Jesus Christ. You gotta go pick this up later. Okay, let's add another half bill here. Well, let's just keep adding stuff, I guess. Until we run out of space. That's a bit much, maybe. Okay. Uh, now maybe the skins? Oh, God. Yeah, the skins will fit. What else? What is this? Augmented hammerheads. All right. How does one hoard this much stuff? I don't know. And here's the thing, this player already sent me about 50 bill maybe one and a half years ago or two. They quit EVE, they came back. <laughs> they gave another 50 bill worth of stuff, right? Did they fix the cargo scanners? Uh, wait, years ago you could circumvent cargo scanning by putting your valuables into containers. Uh, you can you can uh, scan containers, uh, but this ship here nobody can scan. It's a blockade runner, it is scan. Immune. Okay, we'll try to not F this up. Let's see how this goes. Uh, right, we will we will do a little bit of trickery to make it not too easy. Stay tuned. Let's go. Don't don't tell anybody what we have on in cargo here, right? Shh. Totally don't have twenty bill in cargo. Let's go. 
Oh no. We will do a giveaway. Not of all of it, obviously. If I survive this. We'll, we're bringing this to Chida right now. Cheers. Because we can. Maybe. Hopefully. Meerkat is here. Greetings. Thanks for the charge. How's it going, everybody? Happy Wednesday. Yes, three charges today. And they have been buffed. Don't miss out on uh, getting us to another 100% there for the next 200 million isk giveaway. Cloak and bookmarks and you will be fine. Yeah, the only problem is if we do some sort of outbound shittery. Uh, you know, if, if the outbound gate is cluttered, I might be in trouble. But uh, yeah, we'll see about that. In fact, I need to know this. Oh, we got 100% already. All right, how about we do that raffle right now? Good luck. One winner, 200 million isk. Courtesy of the charging. And thanks for the follow, GameBud77. Welcome to the channel. If you have any questions about what's going on here, let us know. Right now, I'm just transporting a few things. <laughs> well, maybe I'll even do a second run or figure out what to do with the hulls. Yeah, I guess we'll figure that out. While we are just casually raffling here, I had a really surprising moment with the twins uh, like two days ago. So I was playing Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. They saw it. They, they call it the dwarf game, right? And they, they usually select the upgrades I get. So they would sit left and right to me and press spacebar to choose the thing. Or to select the thing for me. And uh, this time I didn't have sound on, right? And they usually want me to turn on... I have Bluetooth speakers, right? So they're, they're asking me, uh, make, make it make it louder. And I said, no, nah, I, I don't want to have any noise. We, we, we'll leave it off. And then make it louder. And I said, no, we will not have sound. And then I started a new game. And they fucking narrated the whole thing. Like, it was louder than I would have turned on the thing. They, they made all the explosion noises. When when I started, they even... I don't know. So, for, for whatever reason, they picked up on what dwarf says what when they drop on the planet. So, I started a new game and the little one was like, Classic Scout! <laughs> the fuck's going on? <laughs> Yeah, I got that coming, right? A dead. Yeah, it, it was noisier than if I would have turned on the sound, right? And I was like, I. They they watched it maybe, I don't know. They watched me play, between five and ten times so far, and they, they knew the freaking, lines of the dwarves. <laughs> they can narrate the whole movie, right? How is that possible, Fuzzy? Jesus, and that was kind of funny. Okay, did not see that coming. Yeah, they got spatial audio awareness. I should be proud, absolutely. They, their hearing is really good. I, I sort of uh, do a couple of checks once in a while. They can hear very well, if they want, that is. Closing the raffle now. 200 million isk to the winner. Good luck. At this point, they're like sponges. Yeah, they record everything. Get them into music as early as possible. Yeah, I let them play the piano once in a while. They also have a mini guitars, you know, these plastic thingies. All right, who is the winner? It is uh, Chedali3. Congrats, Chedali. What's your in-game name? Yeah, 200 million is not even 10% of the current hole. It's more like 1%. 
Shadowlight, you gotta speak up and tell us your in-game name. They need a drum kit? No. <laughs> They're allowed without any any instruments. Alright, Shadowlight is the in-game name and I'll send you that ask right now. Congrats. That was another 100% charging. Now let's go. Follow up on my special route back to Chitta. Don't introduce them to TikTok. That will nerve them 10 times. I don't have any intention to expose them to more social media than uh, my my wife already does. And so far, they don't have a phone, right? They don't... Uh, if they use a computer, they they actually don't use a computer. They, they're just sitting next to me, helping me with the game I play, either by hitting the space bar for jumping or hitting W for walking. Yeah, they don't need a phone. They do not need a phone. Hello, Dimonirdo. How's it going? That's how it started for you, Blue Zens. S sitting next to your parents and then hitting the space bar. <laughs> Oh wow, shot the goals, mom had a, an argument with an auntie one year, they got revenge by getting them a trumpet for Christmas. <gasps> that was a loud year, oh shit man. Why is this not on top? Alright. So I'm being extra careful here in low sec. Yes, I actually am taking a, a low sec route to move that 20 billion right now. I deem that safer than the high sec route that was the most direct one. Because Yudama is uh, pretty harsh. Maybe I, they will become the world's best drummers and they can do that on their own uh, eardrums. The twins are four and a half now-ish. Uh, Kine, Cochrane. System address, watch out. What do you mean? Yeah, you, you can see where I am. I'm not hiding that. You don't know my route, but... Well, at this point, you can probably guess, but we're almost there. Homeschool these days is... A better option than public education with in with doctrination there says Floyd yeah I think that's a US well among other countries uh, that's a US problem we have a pretty good education here also we, we don't have to go uh, get into depth for it either so I guess we paid with the taxes but Still, I would say our public school system is pretty good. Rokinos says that all American schools care about is money. I guess that's why the whole, uh, you know, public or this. Actually, I'm not really sure. I think schools get state money here. Yeah, they they, they have to, right? 
but they're not really there to make profit from what I understand. Do you think Denmark at one point had the best system in the world where they would teach them about life instead of syllabus? All right, what do we do here? Get that angle. I'm just taking extra steps here to not get smart bombed with this thing. Oh, this ship is the Crane, a blockade runner. It cannot be cargo scanned and it obviously has a covert cloak option plus you can put a nullifier on it although in high sec that doesn't really matter america is just a florida of the world says break core on youtube okay yeah so i'm not going to comment on these uh controversial topics other than from my point of view when i see what's going on in the US right now with the news and, and the, the bashing of each other, you know, the political bashing. I personally, I feel like kindergartens in Switzerland are more civilized than what's going on there. And that's as far as I will go. It is. I, I don't understand how this is possible, but well, <laughs> I don't know, maybe TikTok. So the number one reason, uh, says U.S. education fails, is the low pay for teachers. One of the most important careers. And they get get paid crap wages. Well, you know, Ty Wolf, you're saying this is one of the most important careers. Uh, while I agree, the thing is, if you keep your subjects, <laughs> I'm using that term, as dumb as it gets, it is way cheaper to persuade persuade them with crap so that's probably uh, i'm already way too deep into the topic let's move on <laughs> cheers uh miss reeve we were just casually transporting 20 million no wait 20 billion worth of stuff on stream here we'll be entering chida uh soon Next topic, how do we fix chaos? Wait, are you talking the, the Australian streamer? The Outback streamer? <laughs> There's no fix for chaos. It is what it is. Some things you just have to accept. Chaos, greetings. Wait, what, did you, what did you do this time? Uh, I don't know. Entropy is an art form, it is. <laughs> Uh, August, have you got the stuff? August, are you the person who sent me some contracts and some ISK in the vicinity of 50 billion? Is that you? <laughs> Let me do a D scan here. Okay, so far so good. Chaos gets prime rate on every stream, right? Chaos stands out. All right, we're taking the back entrance for Chida, and for those anticipating this, we will do something rather funny in a moment as well. Uh, chaos is probably past midnight now, right? Everybody must obey the second law of thermodynamics. Yeah, until it gets changed, right? Oh, shit. Wait, whoa. Wait, when, when are we doing this? On Saturday? I committed to do something together with Chaos. I, I forgot about it. Now that I remember, I somewhat regret it. The one and only Cider is here. Thanks for the raid. Welcome. It's 9.50 p.m. only. All right. Let's do a show. Oh, Mad Katarin was faster. The one and only Cider. How's it going? And uh, thanks for bringing all your folks to us. 
Um, timing is pretty decent. I said we will do a giveaway should I survive this trip to Chida with 20 billion worth of crap in my cargo hold. Turns out we are somewhat successful. I don't even have to touch my keyboard anymore to make this happen. Stream was crazy. Sounds great. What did you do? So we should auto dock here, unless I made a major mistake. But uh, here we go. That's it. 20 billion safe and sound. Let's go. We have to go there again. Pick up. I'll actually bring a couple of containers this time. To bring the rest. So, but the first Lotus is there. Oof. That, that one was harsh. Okay, what do we give away? Order by estimated price. It's already ordered though. How about we haven't given away mastered arms, cerebral accelerators for a while. Let's give away two. One lucky winner. This is an extremely quick raffle though. You got like 30 seconds. So distribution missions, Sitter was doing. Bumped their jackpot from 2 billion to 5.3. But no one won. Uh oh, we're talking lottery there. Well, maybe next time. There's, I always find it funny when there's 10 times more in the lottery winning pool than normal and everybody goes crazy. Like, you know, a lot of people who usually wouldn't play their lottery would go there because, you know, instead of winning just 5 million, you can win 50 just five right <laughs> it's not like their chances go up right it's sort of stupid i wouldn't really care if i get five or fifty i would take the five anytime but yeah math is hard right and confusing uh the raffle is close though three two one boom 99 good number let's go and, and yeah yeah, oh, it's, sorry, I'm just like still trying to understand, right? Yeah, the, the, the chances even... I mean, technically, I believe the chances are actually the same? That you win? If you play the lottery with the numbers and whatnot, it's the chances for you are the same. The chances that somebody is going to get it are are higher because there's more players, but the chances that you are going to get it are exact, exactly the same. And t t the argument people use, yeah, you know, it's, it's worth it. For 50 million, I'm doing it. For five, blah. <laughs> five million, whatever. Not worth the effort, I guess. Anyways, <laughs> uh, a Bobsoft wins the uh, Mastered Arms. Congrats. It is 50-50 if you win or lose. Yeah, Lucy, <laughs> absolutely. Uh one billion would be nice, right? A Bobsoft say something in chat. So Cubid Roy said chances of winning is the same, chances of having to share is higher. Although it is also more prize money, so it's probably the same thing. I don't know. I'm not good with statistics, but we got Bobsoft with an in-game name and he gets a contract right now. need to make sure not to contract the whole hangar right now that would be a bit spicy okay can we do another trip without dying i'm not going to show you what i will do next time um we'll take another route actually you know what we can just ah, i'm gonna be super secretive about this let me get back to where this stuff is also my playlist end it Okay, here we go. We will be going over there. And this time, like that. Floyd wondering if I'm into cybersecurity. Uh, it's not really my my profession but we, we have to 
keep an eye on it. What happened to Linux? Uh, are other open source like WordPress or Blender at risk? Uh, I believe not much is at risk. What happened over Easter was it was very close to a to the biggest disaster so far in I guess the internet and security. I wonder if if a lot of people noticed actually what happened, but if if that would have worked, we fucked. I think we, we're good now, Floyd. Don't worry, your stuff is is fine. Not much was compromised. It was extremely yeah the SSH stuff, the the X X set uh, issue. That one was super super close. I mean, some things might be compromised, but. If the guy who figured it out or who noticed it wouldn't have noticed it like, what was it, two or three days ago? I, we could be really fucked today if a lot of updates would have happened with major players like um, Linux distributions or, well, pretty much everything that uses SSH. SSH. Yeah, the, the egg set library for compression got com compression got compromised and that thing is in so many places, especially in SSH access tools and servers and whatnot. So that would have gone horribly wrong. It was an extremely elaborate attack as well. So I wonder what the motive behind is and the, what, who the player actually was who wanted to make this happen. What am I doing? Scary shit, yeah. Yeah, for German speakers, there's the the Heise link. Go read that. You think it was? Yeah, well, you know, we can go guess who it was, but that was uh, we were. This was really close, and it, everybody would have noticed if that if that would have gone through. We would. I would probably not even play a game right now. There would be two things. Maybe Twitch wouldn't work anymore <laughs> for a while. And I would probably be at work trying to figure out if we are using the library in whatever capacity in our products somewhere. In theory, it can be traced using Git. Ah, Herx. The offenders probably used a shitload of VPNs or tours or whatnot. So it's going to be hard. so fuzzy here's the thing that 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 was this guy's hobby i believe he, uh, he he was not really looking for a problem he just noticed that one of his services took half a second longer than usual and he was like and, and he saw some unusual activity in in i believe cpu activity and he was like nah that's not okay let's figure it out and then he discovered this back door that was pretty we, we were lucky there, I guess. Yeah, w was it a Microsoft engineer? Actually, I didn't know it was a Microsoft guy. It was one guy. If that guy would have been on holiday or something. Yeah, there's a CVE. This is... Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure we will see some more coverage in the media about this in the coming days once everybody has realized what, what actually just did not happen and we were really lucky it didn't. <laughs> yeah, okay. No, so I'm not really into cybersecurity, but that one uh, was brought up, <laughs> obviously. Obfuscated code in, a, in an open source get repo is a huge alarm. So here's the thing, Oculi, it was actually, actually extremely elaborate. So the backdoor was not in the actual code. Um, what was it? The way it worked was... It, it, some the, the build process was loading something out of the testing uh, data, which then constructed the backdoor, which was extremely elaborate, as in only the... So, so even the, the backdoor itself would only let the person with a valid certificate use the backdoor. It was extremely advanced what they did. So if you would just look at the code in that GitLab repository, nothing 
in the in the code there's nothing it was the build process which did was manipulated to load something from the test uh, I was about to say classes uh, when the thing is actually produced the tarball is produced or the executable let's put it that way pretty sick right Someone at the NSA is getting fired. <laughs> Shit. So Floyd, the thing is, if the guy would not have noticed it, it might have gotten into all major distributions fairly soon and then rolled out to everybody. And that would have been a, a catastrophe. We, we are lucky because the backdoor was discovered before the malicious versions of XZ utils were added to production versions of Linux. And therefore it is not really affecting anyone in the real world. Lucky us. Hello, Goliath. All right, I'm doing a sec. Oh, fuck, I forgot to... Mm. Damn, I wanted to bring small containers. Oh, wait, there's a couple of bigger containers we might just be able to use as well. I think we're going to be fine. The question to ask, says Chasm, is that is there more stuff like this happening or has already happened? I mean, there's probably quite a number of backdoors, but I would say the potential we, we've seen in this one is maybe unmatched so far and at least it hasn't been exploited in in an extent that could have been possible with that thing uh during easter oh i got a twin here she heard about the security issues maybe she was the one putting that back door in let, let me ask her well, i'm not gonna ask her that it's gonna be gonna be confusing uh how can i help you i'm still working no. Hmm? What are you waiting for? And the second twin just arrived. With her uh, painting utensils. Coloring utensils, I should say. Lock the door? <laughs> no. We, we were not doing that. Uh, no. I'm still working. Hmm? We will play later. When I'm done, huh? Okay. I'll join you in the living room later. And then we play, yeah, we paint and we play the jumping game. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait there. Please. Ah, oh, she's uh, doing the staring contest right now. Not talking either. Yeah, there you go, Krakar, right? Yeah, I'm playing EVE Online. I'm, I'm moving a lot of stuff, so that, that is important. Uh, Floyd, how would you know? <laughs> uh, I, I have no re point of reference, Floyd. I'm making up shit on the go. Guys, can you please go to the living room? Watch TV? Play? We'll play later. Hmm? Maddie? You wanna say hi? Huh? You wanna say hi? doesn't even want to say hi i don't know <laughs> i mean as long as they are quiet right give them the link to the stream ah, that's probably a bad idea yeah ca chaos i hope the same Ho hopefully <laughs> it's okay chaos oh my god you know a bunch of little chaoses what's the plural of chaos chaos i maybe i don't know all right i'm with the uh location for the pickup let's go get it give them the link to the stream daddy's in chida spinning ship let's go right not busy <laughs> the plural of chaos is pandemonium you're making this up genera right Oi. You, you can you can see a face coming in from from this side uh oh now what do you want The 
The danger is coming closer, Chad. What you doing? The question is if chaos is countable in a finite or closed way. Oh my god. Don't go all scientific on me here. Yeah, and you are here. Why? Are you bored? You want to say hello? <laughs> say hello. Now she's shy. I don't know. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, how many things are in here? A thousand. Okay, we will need this container. That even fits. Okay. Then we have some space in this. This one is empty, so I'm going to repackage this. Clothes we can put in here. That one's empty. All right. Let's repackage all these things. Yeah, she, she is wiggling the chair. Oi, no. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I might turn green. The music matched. Yeah. Guys, wait in the living room, please. Hmm? We'll play later. No. You want to play later? <laughs> she, she, she is not even angry. She's just staring. That's uh, the thing I, I don't know really how to address. As long as she's quiet, right? That that's the way they will beat me in the in the reasoning department. They will just not say anything. <laughs> Probably. Alright, let's get this in here. Oh no. Now they they're they're starting to bark. Now let me I'm gonna take care of it. I'll be right back. Let's do a quick giveaway. Actually we need to catch up with the uh, two hundred million giveaways from the last two days plus today. So we have a raffle until I uh, got them back in the... Yeah, there we go. We have a dog now. Okay. Three winners. 200 million each. Good luck. I'll be right back and then I will wiggle. See you in a sec. Okay, here we are again. Uh, Floyd, I I actually took a, one of these Easter chocolate eggs without them seeing me. Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> no, I you know I brought them to the living room and then I was like, you know what, I'm close to the kitchen. I didn't have lunch yet, so a little bit of sugar is gonna gonna help. Cheers. And all it took is me standing up. They were moving towards the door afterwards. They were just waiting for me to do more than just talking. As in a physical, you know, this way, please. And it worked. Uh, yeah, it might get worse. We'll see. Uh, I'm wiggling. We'll close the raffle in 10 seconds. Or once I'm done with the wiggle studies. Oh, 
Okay. Closing the raffle. Good luck. Three winners. Floyd says most parents, they know, deal with that with aggression. I, so, <laughs> I guess that's what I learned on Twitch. I'm not kidding. No, wait, tw I have uh, not Twitch. General internet. I know that depending on the, the medium, conversation spirals into the negative very quickly. So escalation happens a lot. And I, whatever I do, I, you know, I am not without fault, obviously. But if I have the energy and the, the headroom or whatnot, I try to de-escalate by default or not escalate to start with. Because once you are down in the pit, it's going to be shit. So I don't want to end up there. So, yeah, there's no point in in shouting unless you want shouting in return which is not what i want so at the end of the day this is a selfish act i guess i do like escalations in eve yeah that's that's true I, uh caesar i do not know any fathers to, other than mine well okay a couple of people at work but you know no is we don't talk about the children at work so i don't really know this sort of stuff. Don't shit in the pit, right? There we go. And we have three winners. 200 million each. We have uh, one going to Bobsoft, Panoptical, and Kylie. Congrats to you. Hedonica says they heard EVE Online is more about sh uh, calculations. There's graphics? Yeah, there is. I mean, you're watching the stream, aren't you? Okay. I believe we have two. Yeah, all three winners spoke up. Perfect. Bobsoft with the in-game name there already. Oh, uh, yeah, you win the second time today, right? Congrats. 200. We have Kaylee with 200 and Panoptic. Kaylee for FC, absolutely. So Hedonica is wondering what, what is Eve about? Wait, I'm confused. You you are aware that you're watching an Eve stream, right? Uh Panoptic. Where's Panoptic? I don't see Panoptic's in-game name. Let us know, please, Panoptic. Oh, there we go. And that is another 200. Okay, done. Oof. So you only heard about Eve once and, and okay, I'm still wondering what made you join the stream here? You, you heard about Eve once and now? Oh wait, you maybe you, you came in during a, I don't know, coding session or something. Or when I was playing another game on stream. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to address your question there. This is an interrogation, absolutely, Bernard. Why are you here? <laughs> Answer me now. <laughs> this is our bubble. You know Eve or you don't. You don't belong if not. I'm kidding. <laughs> I would say Eve is the most elaborate sandbox MMO out there. You're not there. Okay, Hedonica, you're not there. Download now. Yep. Use the body link, please. There you go. Yeah. Create an account and abandon your old life. That's pretty much how this works. And uh, it, it, so Eve, at its core, is a PvP sandbox with a player-driven economy. So let's say most things that matter in the game are sourced, produced by a player and sold on the player-driven market for whatever the player thinks they want to get for whatever thing they want to sell, right? And uh, the game has been going on for, what, 20 years now-ish? It's still around, and it, it looks, I mean, okay, now I'm just docked in a station, it doesn't look very pretty, but game is, uh, so, so EVE, a lot of people play EVE in in a somewhat min-maxim way and then numbers come in right your fitting is a lot of different modules with different stats which achieve different things and you want to min-max 
uh, those stats according to what you're doing in order to be, I don't know, time efficient or ISK efficient or whatever efficient. Uh, if you're doing activities like, I don't know, industry, there's a lot of numbers involved. If you really want to min-max the game, spreadsheets become a thing, right? I recently started doing PI, planetary. Interaction? I forgot. Was it interaction or planetary in something? The other word with I. Industry, planetary industry. There's a lot of like calculations you can do to min max this stuff to plan what, what you want to do and how often and I know how much it's going to yield and whatever. So lots of uh, things in EVE are with numbers. You can, however, play EVE. I barely use spreadsheets, actually. I only started it with PI. Otherwise, I... Yeah, sometimes I consult a spreadsheet just, just to see what sort of damage happens in these sites, what enemies are there and whatnot, especially wormhole space. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's actually get some pretty views um, after I'm done loading. It's just to put this into context. What we just did... So the previous trip, how much is 20 bill? That's like eight, eight months of game time, give or take. So the stuff I was just moving around would have been enough for me to pay a subscription for eight months. So Eve also has this real wor world relation with the dollar more or less, right? Because you can pay the game subscription with in-game money at the end of the day. So you have a real feel on, on how much is something worth you, you're you doing. That that makes it also appealing to some, I guess. Oh, wait, 20 bill actually covers a year of game time on discount. Good point. Yeah, you would, you would get a whole 12 months there and then you obviously get discount. But yeah, everybody describing EVE as XL in space... The, the whole XL meme, I personally believe, does the game a disservice because it is not that. You can totally immerse yourself in this universe and not deal with numbers at all if you don't want to. Okay, but I'm still trying to load all my all this good stuff here into the ship. Let's see if we can fit it. Okay, that one's a weird one. Repackage. We have some... MC. Oh, there's another half bill. All right, let's get that one in. That one's empty. 58 million worth of ammunition. I'm not sure I want to want to deal with that. The skins we already brought last time. That one's empty. Okay, we're we getting closer to be done. 3,000, that's a lot. Does that still fit? Oh yeah, it does. Okay. We have some BPCs, which did work. Uh, trick ammo, yeah, that's too much. We'll probably sell that together with the, um, the other things, the, the ships. So I, I'm... Wait, there's still 7 billion here. That's quite a lot. Order by estimated price. Spring cleaning. Now, somebody stopped playing Eve Cynico and gave us all their stuff. So I'm just doing a separate second trip, moving all, all their things back to Chida. That's sort of the plan. And yeah, Eve... So Floyd, I would go a, a step further. Calling EVE a community is, is probably lowballing it. EVE is a society at this point. So is it called EVE because you play it in the evening before you leave? No, uh, I don't actually know why it's called EVE. It's part of the lore. I, I guess it, it actually plays into the whole Bible thing in a way. With the Eve Gate, you know, the promised land, uh, these terms were used, actually. So, the, 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 if I get the, uh, the lore correct, we, the uh, Eve Capsuleers, 
are originally from Earth. Where, I don't know, at some point a wormhole opened back in the day uh, and Earth was close and, and uh, everybody got their spaceships and went through checking out what's happening and then there was some event which, yeah, the wormhole collapsed and the people who went through were then trapped in New Eden. This is where, you know, they went through the wormhole from Earth. And a couple of, I don't know, how many years actually? Many, many thousands, ten thousands of years later is what we are now here in Eve. But we are rich 50,000 years? Okay. So 50,000 years later is, is now in Eve. So we, we still probably remember that we event that we came through the Eve gate. Probably not necessarily Earth anymore. But yeah. This is more or less the setting. But I'm not a lore guy. So check out the Eve universe. Or... Uh, Eve Online, come lore a link that is certainly going to help. There, there's a lot of backstory, and uh, the lore in Eve is actually quite rich. It happens mostly out of game, though, unless you read dialogues of NPCs or I don't know. Yeah. Okay, that's probably why it's called Eve. You were there. The collapse of the wormhole was beautiful. Yeah, there you, you were there. All right. Uh, sorry, Bernard. I had to remove that one. If you need to know why, uh, please reach out. We cannot make any advertisement for that person on this channel. Okay, so where were we? Um, this is way too bulky. Two million. Should I just go through Eve, uh, sorry, Isaac buyback with that stuff? Probably, right? How much space do I still have? Well, space is gone. Yeah, the last few expansions were actually quite narratively driven, absolutely. But only if you paid attention, Stinson. If you did not watch a single scope video and just logged in and went through the event track, you wouldn't really know what happened, right? Yeah, the wormhole is gone, right? There's just a, a weird anomaly left that used to be the Eve gate. Hello, Eldari Prime, Pony Clock. There's, there's a system in Eve, well, the system which the wormhole connected to, um, Eve Gate, I believe it's called. Or just Eve? Shit, I forgot actually. No? Shit, what was it called? No, New Eden is, is the thing, right? New Eden is the, the system called. Shit, so bad at this. Okay, N New Eden. So this is the dead end system that once connected to to earth with the eve gate you can still go there and see sort of the remains of that wormhole or that anomaly or whatever it was new eden going into promised land then we have what central point canar dead end gateway exit the, these systems are access this are weirdly yeah actually i guess the names make sense from a back then perspective, right? Yeah, but now we are in New Eden, which is the whole thing here. All the systems. We try to make a living. Um, that being said. Is there any faction modules I want to put this one? Oh, well, that's not worth anything. Yeah, I would say the good stuff we... We did transport. This is just bulky. Still 7 million, but bulky. Yeah, I'll try to get rid of that using high sec buyback and uh, probably the ship hulls as well. What is Empires of Eve? That's a book. Written by Andrew Gron about what happened. In the last 20-ish years, more or less. In terms of, you know, in-game groups that came to power and betrayals and happenings and whatnot. 
Misery still has their Empire of Eve books in the wrapper. Nice. I I think in 2018 when I went to Eve Berlin, Andrew Krohn was there. And part of the goodie bag was actually a USB stick with a uh, electronic copy of Empires of Eve. I have that one still. I don't have a physical copy. Oh, I, I don't know what happened there with all... all Olmeca, but yeah, he, he is a character. That's what I know. <laughs> There's a lot of quote unquote important names in Eve, right? That had various degrees of drama they caused or were involved in. That's just how it goes when people get in power and whatever. Uh, Kaldari, greetings. How's it going? Kaldari Prime in the house. Okay, so should should we actually? Yeah, I'm gonna show you what I what high sec buyback. How that works, right? So there's a link. Uh, that one here. So I'm in a situation right now where I'm like, yeah, this is what 16 jumps from Chida. What am I going to do with this stuff? I'm not going to move these ships one by one. I don't have a transport and I'd rather not, you know, transport it. Well, run freighters if I don't have to, right? So how do you get rid of this stuff with getting a, a decent amount of ISK, right? And uh, this is 6 billion. Let, let's see what high sec buyback is going to pay me. Let me get the, the thing on screen so you can follow. So I'm going to that website I just linked. And then I will uh, get this thing here as a list. If I can. There we go. Or something like this. Now you can't see it, right? Just select everything. Control A, Control C. Let's go back to the browser. Oh. And paste that stuff. Oh, sign in to, wait, sign in to enable the calculator? Is this new? Shit, I haven't used this in a while. Oh, we gotta go sign in. Crap. Wait a second, I'll do that off stream. That's new. That wasn't necessary before. Okay, hold on. I gotta do the SSO. Oh, God. That's how it sounds opening my password safe. <laughs> Mistyped a few times. Um, okay, we need... Uh, game accounts. Uh, no, Gaspon. Did I develop my own password safe? I did not know. But the password safe is a local program. I'm not having them in the cloud. And uh, I know what encryption they use and I'm okay with it. It's a local file. Which is also mirrored onto my emergency stick, so to speak. You don't have to change the list of your inventory to icons. Oh, it works. Norm. Okay, cool. Good to know. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Hold on. I'm doing the whole logging thing with very 2FA and whatnot. All the rise. Come on. Years later. Da, da, da. Okay, cool. Now we can turn that back on. So I pasted it, the list and now I'm hitting submit. So I can get 4.9 billion isk. 
let me check yeah that the ships i lose out on is they they're super cheap so it doesn't matter so this is basic wait why is it oh my god you don't see it right oh, i pasted it in the wrong thing that one Oh my god, I locked in in the wrong browser. You gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I locked in with a different browser. Anyways, uh, hitting that button will uh, give you um, a price. And the price for my, in my case, is 4.95 billion now. Is that fa fine without having the hassle? And the estimated price here, you know, that's not... I cannot dump the ships for, for, this, for this price here, right? So I would probably get like five and a half bill ish anyways only don't sell your train wait did i shit i estimated the crane as well yeah <laughs> wait 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 i need to estimate again without the crane thanks for bringing that up now we're we gonna we're gonna make this right jesus oh internet is hard too many windows too old and whatnot okay let's try again so 4.8 two three billion all good now we're just whoops going to go here create a contract uh to isaac buyback all of this and we are going to get let me copy that price again that amount let's go let's see how long it takes bernard will buy it from me wait what are they all packaged yeah they are do you need me to delete the, the contract bernard uh stay me as the station uh, i can post it uh, where is it? This one. Stay me. Oh, you didn't say anything about buying them. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, we will have Isaac buy back. Buy this. Okay, so this was contract number one. That's all the ships. Now we're going to check uh, how much we get for this stuff. Control A, Control C. Uh, again, you can't see it now because I don't want to do the whole login thing again. Submit. Okay, this other stuff, they are going to... Oh, it takes a while. It's actually a lot. 5.6 billion. I would say that's fair. The Jasper is actually a bit low. Although, it's not much. Well, some is even higher. Okay. Yeah, I think we will. There are 13 MTUs, yeah. I don't need this. Yeah, I, I would say this is fair. I want to get rid of this as well. Contract. Isaac, buyback. Next. Somebody have fun with this stuff. Let me check, is this the right number? Yes, 5.6 bill. The winner has to go collect oh boy all right so the contracts are up uh not yet except we will notice when that happens on our wallet uh michael bow thanks a lot for the point welcome back to the channel now how much do i have in my crane we got 2.9 bill here plus oh that's actually it only 2.9 bill left to bring home okay fair enough what will I buy with all that money? Oh, that's just going to be a buffer so I don't run out of isk with content. You know, a monkey fleet, right? The, the Saturday fart where monkey is at the helm costs me around 600 mil for the Tengu. And that thing blows up almost every time, right? So content is, uh, is expensive. And I appreciate the fact that you know, these things happen. Somebody quitting is like, yeah, here, you can have my stuff. So I do not have to grind this off stream to provide some entertainment on stream. I kind of appreciate that. So 
there we go so we can do fun things on stream rather than just grinding as well yeah monkey's just slowly bleeding me right there oh you guys are close to charging that thing again all right i want to go back to chitta let's make this this route i like that and uh thanks for i don't know what just happened whoa man east side with a new month tip are you serious <laughs> east side dropping a hundred bucks uh oh seven thanks for the support very much appreciated and uh we're going to walk in a dinosaur for east side right there if i find the button Okay, that was apparently... Uh, yeah, yeah, that was one too many zeros there. Shit. Okay, wait, I can do better. Oh, no. I wish, right? Uh, hold on, that was too many zeros. Which button do I need to click now to fix this? Doing math on stream, bad idea. Okay. D there we go. We, we, we got it right now. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, one second. I'll be with you shortly. We just need to get east side some nuggets. Man, you're helping a lot, east side. Much appreciated. Thanks a ton. Um, that. Hold on. East side gets nuggets. There we go. Boom. Alxi, here's the thing. If I were to live in the Philippines, that 30% would be a good 100%, right? I just don't live there. Also, I would, you know, here's the thing. I would be extremely afraid of how, as in, you know, I need to, the, the internet needs to work, right? Like really good. Uh, and I'm not sure that is a, well, if I went, went to Manila, probably, but that's not what I would want to do anyways, right? Uh, okay, so here we go. I'm undocking. Let's bring home the second batch of things. So far, so good. Off we go. Yeah, but I am kind of following the uh, developments in, in Bohol. That's the place where my wife's family, well, parents and relatives are. Uh, they, they have been improving their infrastructure quite a bit over the last couple of years. So maybe one day, right? Oh, shit. Yeah, wine would be a problem gonna be expensive there i would f find a fine local wine philippines does not well rice wine yeah but i actually haven't tasted the rice wine yet my wife brought me home I'm, I'm gonna you know what we will make this dependent on how much i like the rice wine if we are we we will eventually move there right <laughs> australian wine you think it's gonna be cheap or <laughs> sprat moonshine oh god Okay, wait. Are we? The charging is at one hundred and sixty-nine percent. Everybody, if you haven't used your charges today, you can charge three times, and they already have been buffed to the double, double the value. If you use all your charges, maybe we can do an efficient giveaway, as in two winners. Let's see. Grow my own grapes. I'm not sure how easily grapes would actually go in or grow in Philippines. Bohol is rather hot and humid a lot of times so i don't know if this will work well whoa we are well over 200 percent. can we make it the triple triple giveaway is possible let's see 240 we need yeah we need another like 25 no 
I don't, I don't know what the math is. A few people hitting the button three times. Bernard is out of talent points. Okay, we are super close. We can do a triple giveaway in a few seconds, I believe. We are at 289%. Hello, Arthur. Stinson is holding for a level 2. We had one, Stinson. It is buffed. There's two batteries. Three batteries. We don't even know how that's possible. <laughs> okay, 300% achieved. And we will have three, whoops, wrong UI, three winners. Good luck. 200 million each. Wait, do we have Megatrons? I don't think we have Megatrons there. Crumpy, that didn't work. I'm going to be super poor by the end of the day. No, we, we got 50 billion on Saturday from somebody who quit Eve. We are okay. <laughs> Till, I don't know. Yeah, 50 bill East sign. And the guy is a second time quitter. I'm not kidding. He did that already one, two years ago. <laughs> then he came back. Uh, when he came back, he actually asked if he could have some stuff. I gave him some stuff, if I remember correctly. And now he quit again and gave me all his stuff. Pretty good investment right there. I can sponsor Monkey's Voice Paywall? What is that? I'm I'm good for at least 10 days, Rockinos. I mean, if we take the amount of isk we gave away today, or the value, because of the freaking... Marshall BPC. Oh, the, the contracts just got accepted, guys. Isaac buyback accepted the contracts. We are at, yeah, well, 13 bill now on this account. Harry remembers stealing a Citadel from Deep Low. It's like, how do you steal Citadels? Yeah, you never quit Eve, right, Dr. Afsan? So I will hold back on some of the ISK for when that person wants to come back again <laughs> and quit a year later, right? Oh, wow. In Disco, interesting. So the station was left packed up. Easy one bill. Oh, shoot. What the hell happened here? That's a lot of obelisks. Okay, closing the raffle in three, two, one. Boom. Three more. Uh, Three 200 million esque winners coming up. Good luck. How much did I have to invest? Oh, I think it was a bill or two, Jules. That's a pretty good ratio. It was, I think it was just to get him started in the abyss again. Uh, you know, my memory is foggy at the best of times, so I think that happened. Okay, winners. We have Jump, wait, JMP4468, Bernard, and Misery. Congrats. Speak up if you won. Right, two out of three. Now we need JMP, boom, to speak up as well. Perfect. We got all three. Congrats. Now I need your in-game names. Send you the isk. Momentarily. Uh, Misery as an in-game name. All right. Delivering that isk. Congrats to Misery. Then a Bernard is probably here as well. Yeah, Bernard. Typing zeros that fast is rather dangerous on stream with an account that has double digit billions now. Okay, hold on. 200. There we go. Whoops. Don't hit the microphone first. And that's it. We are depleting the charging meter. Cheers, Bernard. Eve is kind of like Foxhole or Anvil. So. 
Uh, I have never played Foxhole, but I know as well, Zapando has played Foxhole quite a bit and enjoyed it. Maybe it is somewhat similar, but I can't tell. I've never played that game. Eve is a MMO in a single shard. Everybody, well, except Chinese players, everybody except Chinese players are playing on the same server and theoretically, everybody could be like, okay, let's meet up here and uh, shoot the monument. <laughs> I know this, this also practically happens, not just theoretically. Um, so there are at times huge fights where thousands of people are fighting each other at the same time in the same system over some sort of objective. That's sort of the... I think that is the thing that blows my mind the most in regards to EVE. We could go to the same place and just starting to shoot each other. Burn shit, all right. There we go. And everything in EVE sort of matters because it it does have an influence on on the other pilots at the end of the day don't fly if you can't afford to lose it yep that is definitely how you want to play eve if you undock stuff that if lost will leave you with nothing you made a mistake in eve you never do that because that's probably one of the reasons why Quite a significant portion of people quit. They, they undock their shiny ship and think they're safe because they're running in high sec and then, well, a ganker comes around. High sec doesn't mean you're going to be safe. High sec just means the police is going to bend you. But if your ship blows up before the police arrives, well, <laughs> your shit is still in flames. And yeah, that's valid gameplay. So don't overextend, I guess, is the more generic way of saying it in EVE. That's why you quit the first two times, SC for one. Yeah, definitely be careful with with what you do. And okay, this is more maybe of a, of a streamer sort of thing. Do not get attached to your space pixels because if you do so, people will specifically hunt you for that reason. They realize you, you are sort of yeah, really like your space pixels. And they, they will just come for that reason to take it away from you. To farm some salt. So as a content creator, you really need to get into the mindset that this stuff here... Well, for me, all the things I own, at the end of the day, those are giveaways. If I don't have the stuff, I can't do the giveaways. And then, well, <laughs> it's your loss, not mine, right? That helps me not getting attached to my space pixels. What is RMT? RMT is where you would sell in-game valuables to other people for real money. Ah, wrong channel. Okay. I can explain that to you anyways, Krakar, right? So I give away stuff to maybe get more later? Not really, no, Hedonica. I, you know, the, the activities I do on stream... They generate ISK, which is the currency in EVE. And with that ISK, I can buy ships or I can give away the ISK or whatnot, or whatnot. Since I'm playing the game for a long time, I know a couple of activities which pay very, very well. So I know how to generate that ISK. And uh, I, I feel like giveaways are a cool way to give back to the community. That's why I'm doing giveaways. Off the stuff I acquire. I give away stuff so I can keep the revenge fleet going, absolutely, right? Uh, the revenge fleet, so uh, Hedonica, about three years ago now, I was doing an activity in EVE, which was very special. It, you can only do it in one system, it was a low security system, and uh, I couldn't complete the task because somebody was driving me away so somebody specialized in shutting down the activity i wanted to do and i was like no and i brought a couple of friends and shut them down and 
from that came our regular Saturday PvP fleet. The Fedo Adoption Rescue Troop was born because somebody denied me a content and I was like, no, I want to do it. Let's get friends together. And then, yeah, when we came with the fleet, they couldn't shut us down anymore. So, <laughs> and uh, yeah, eventually Monkey joined in and we had our PvEVP fleet for about three years now, which is, yeah, a staple, I guess, for quite a few people watching the streams. Yeah, the giveaways are rigged, Nixie, right? I'm just shuffling isk between my alts, absolutely. Uh, the black class prices are actually pretty nice at the moment, since and, uh, I did move some volume as well, uh, without crashing the market, that is. What does green, yellow, red safety actually do? Uh, so green safety makes it so you can't accidentally shoot something you shouldn't. As in, you know, the police would show up if you made a mistake. If you put it to yellow, I think you can shoot suspects or something. And if you put it to red, you can shoot everything, which will also trigger police response if you're in high sec. It's just like, you know, you don't accidentally do things you don't really want to. And then get concorded, as in the police shows up and kills you. Do I ever farm black gloss this time? It's emotional. I'll show you a container and that will probably answer your question. Uh, dear. Well, let's make this bigger. So, I still, to this day, have 500 <laughs> radioactive materials available to build black glass implants, so I probably do not need to farm this in the next two years. Are Abyss blueprints actually worth something? Most of them are not, no, Tidywim. You can shoot suspects in green as well. Okay, I didn't know that. What's yellow then for? Yellow allows you to get suspect and into retribution status. Oh, I see. So, yeah, I still have some black loss. Actually, I need the... Uh, running out of BPCs, in a way, and biomechanical interfaces. But, yeah, not to an extent where I'm worried yet. Oh yeah, and you can loot P you can loot canisters, right, that are yellow if you are on the uh, on the yellow safety setting. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to loot yellow containers because that makes you suspect. Okay, so we just brought home the second batch of things. Now I'm not sure. I think I can't move everything because too much stuff. Yeah. We can Pff, shit man. Oh, we gotta go clean this up now. Oh, wait. Faction modules, I know where they go, right? Okay, I'm not gonna do this on stream. That's too boring. <laughs> we will not do that. I'll clean this up later. Uh, yep, definitely. So, di didn't lose a thing yet. Lucky me. Where did I get the Black Gloss Blueprints? Uh, the BPCs you can farm in Gestic, I believe it's called. That's a system in high sec, and you just sit there and then toses the thing until you have all the BPCs you want. Gestic drops the BPC and the biomechanical interfaces. In Langizi, you need to be to get all the DNA. And in that uh, Yena, low sec system, you have to be in order to get the uh, recovered radioactive materials. And that's actually the problem. Because it's a low, sys a low sex system and uh, people are going to hunt you if you try to collect this. Which was the whole point for the fleet we created eventually. And it pays to this day. There's a reason Fart SRP is still a thing. Oh, you take care, Floyd. Thanks for being here. Uh, okay, so I also feel like... What time is it? Yeah, I guess I will close it for today. We gave away enough stuff. Uh, let's see. What's next? Is common nonsense life in a, in any capacity? Gonna ask anybody wants to go live anytime soon.
We have a command command now, apparently. Did I activate this? Oh, boy. Nice. That's actually a pretty good page. I like that. Thanks for testing. Bobsoft. Although you wouldn't see the commands that are specific to Earth spot. That wouldn't work. Yeah, but you can turn it off, Dark Side. I think I had it off for the longest time. The commands command. But there you go. All right. The next drops are going to happen from the 13th, right? Yes, April 13. Uh, together with the Angry Games. Anger, angry Games. Ang angry Games. Do we? I, I've got to go to check what schedule that will be so we don't interfere or overlap with said Anger Games. Oh, yeah, I need to remove that wife command there, Daria. She sort of quit on the YouTube thing. <laughs> I think she was she was not growing her YouTube channel fast enough, so she was like, eh, too much effort. Mm. Yeah, the pissed off games, right? Okay, so uh, tomorrow I won't be live because I have to attend the business lunch. We got a new uh, team member, which is great. So somebody who was working for us uh, in, a, in an external capacity decided to actually get employed. So our team has a new member now actually directly working for the company, which is amazing. Um, that sort of indicates that the work we're doing is interesting, which I obviously knew, but... Somebody else thinks the same, which is great. So I'll be at that business lunch tomorrow and uh, we'll be streaming again on Friday, well, the whole weekend there, anyways. And uh, maybe we can even squeeze in a little dev stream. Uh, we will see. I still need to play the parking world simulator again with actual working cars. So I have the permission from Jens to show you that pre pre i don't know alpha beta whatever game state with uh, working cars a rice wine stream Ooh, emotional i could open that bottle and give you a live reaction on rice wine i don't think i ever had it oh we, we had enough raffles today arthur <laughs> we gave away like 12 billion today you're a bit late uh apparently okay so it seems like common nonsense is is not available to take over let's see who else is life in the eve category that is yeah you missed them 12 billion yeah nick paul there was a marshall bpc involved uh let's see let's try to find a channel that is actually life not just 24 hours point collection giveaway shit. sorry i have an opinion fair enough General Beefy is there. Didn't we raid General Beefy before? Cool new guy beats. Up late with Beefy. He's in 9 hours and 30 minutes. Alright, let's, let's go give him some support. That's gotta make him smile. Okay, that's the plan. We're checking out General Beefy. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with the stream. I hope you enjoyed your stay tomorrow. Again, no stream, but uh, the weekend should be packed. Well, until then, have a nice day indeed. Thanks for all the support. You guys are amazing. And I see you as soon as uh, Friday. Take care. Fly. See you next time. And bye.